kind of your leadership style. As you've grown this company, I'm sure you've hired mm -hmm. more and more. So you've grown as, you know, what was a skeleton crew to what it is today. What is your process for finding good fits for a team and then firing? Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, that's a great question. I'm in this like leadership dive right now because I feel like I'm in like a crisis mode. Like I need to grow as an individual. So mm. I, it's interesting. I emailed um, seven of like the the leaders that I look up to the most in our area and investors that have, we've raised money from and stuff. And um, I asked them for their top three books on leadership. And I thought there would be some overlap. There literally there was only one book of like 30 books that were recommended. Only one book was the same that was recommended. So. 30 different books and approaches to leadership. And so it's kind of this confusing area. Um, and I think it, it a great definition uh, that I've heard is that it really just comes down to who you are, you know, um, and your ability to influence people to do great things. And so um, that's scary, right? Because like I know myself and I'm just a pretty normal person. Um, and so, uh, you know, I, I do think that um, there's that, common sage with startups. It's like, um, hire slow and fire fast. Um, I don't think most people follow that. I don't think we follow that at all at all cause you just love people, right? Like you yeah. just, you care about them and, and you want to help them through issues. And, um, I think it's important not to lose that humanity. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like yeah. sometimes we get so focused on the business results and we forget a little bit about people. Um, and you know, like, you don't want to like lose your humanity through it. Right. And so, uh, but at the same time, there's definitely been areas where we've had to let people go. Like I've, I, I've had to let a lot of people go from outlet. Um, some because the business wasn't hitting results and, and I had made bad decisions and we just couldn't afford to keep them. And those are really painful and others because they were damaging to our culture. And that's probably the biggest, um, area for me that I think needs to be corrected when somebody's damaging to your culture, you have to make a change um, and it just doesn't correct, you know, so. Mm -hmm. I think most people assume that's um, once you have a successful company, you just know, like you just know all the things, but really it's a refinement. No. Like you keep dialing in that lens so that maybe yeah. you see things sooner. Like when you're hiring in the hiring process, you're able to see, okay, this is a red flag that I maybe would not have pinpointed, you know, three years ago. Yeah where I otherwise really like this person, like their personality is great. Well, and I think part of it is like in the early days, you feel like everything's urgent. Like if I don't hire this yeah. person right now, yeah, the whole world's going to come crashing down. And so you make these like rushed decisions and it, it's been hard for me, but I, I think just being a little bit more patient and trying to get, it's really hard for me to involve other people in the process because I want to make the decision. Um, but that's provided a lot of perspective as well. And I think we've made better decisions when you allow your board and your other members of your team to kind of weigh in on who you hire. Um, and that was a weakness of mine in the early days. It's like I had who I wanted to hire and I hired them. And um, anyways, I think it's helpful. And it's helpful for the team to, to get that buy-in to the person that you're going to hire so that they support them. Mm -hmm. And if they don't feel bought into them or their personality or their leadership style, it's hard to kind of get people to support later on. So Yeah. And when you say like that humanity and like, I've heard empathy before, I always liken it to that extreme ownership, mm. you know, where it's like, no, I'm taking this on as a personal responsibility. I hired them. If I ultimately have to fire them, that's on me. Mm -hmm. And I know that, you know, we've had situations where we've looked at kind of everything that happened and we're like, we, we just weren't a good enough leader for this particular person yeah. at this particular time. Mm -hmm. And that's okay because it's now we know some things that we need to, you know, come to terms with, read some more yeah. leadership books. I mean, it's all a process because there's so many like ideas around leadership and I can only retain so many. Yeah. Like yeah. you almost yeah. always know what book I'm reading because I'm regurgitating. Yeah, yeah, you're trying to do that. So my new <laughs> thought around leadership is this and it's just, oh uh, yeah, you've been reading good to great, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, right people in the right seats on the bus. That's right. Yep.